Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ebony Cherie for those who don't know and thank you for watching. So today I am going to create a little burgundy gold fall moment. Um, these are colors I really love and I think complement my skin tone really well in other men and women in color. Um, so let's just hop right in. And yes, I am going to be using Morphe palettes again. Someone, please stop me. Like, please stop me from uh, using Morphe. <laughs> no, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just on a kick and I love them and they're so bad, like buttery. And I just recently bought a whole bunch of their palettes. So I'm just favoring them right now. But I do have other makeup like I've said in a previous video I don't want to sound like I'm always repeat myself but I am on a Morphe kick so if you watched the last past like three videos I'm using Morphe products and you guys are probably like but that's just what I'm using right now and that's what I really enjoy that's what I'm vibing with right now so just just work with me okay so I am gonna start out using the Jaclyn Hill Volt Collection Ring the Alarm and I am going to be using my JH30 brush and I'm going to dip into the color Rush just to like go over all my lids. It's going to be my transition shade. It's like really cold today where I'm at in Kansas and I wanted to like go out and maybe look around, go to Hobby Lobby, go to Ulta, maybe even see a movie, but it's so cold. Bell time, I went to the car, scraped off all the snow and ice and came back in and how my hands felt. I was pretty much like I'm done like I'm not going out this is not happening I'm gonna stay in the house and watch the cooking channel until I get bored so that lasted for an hour and then I was like <laughs> watching YouTube tutorials I was watching reviews on Bretman Rock's wet and lit collection with ColourPop and um, every time I watch makeup tutorials for a period of time I get inspired I'm like ooh, I should go do my makeup and record you know why not like what else am I doing so here we are again <laughs> okay so now that I have the rush shade all over my lids and once again people I forgot to pit tape this is like a thing and I don't even like necessarily mean to do this like on purpose <sighs> here goes the tape <laughs> I think it's because like I, if I don't have it in my face I don't think about it because I know like I'll do fine without it but if I want that certain like look then tape is really good for that so I don't have to go back in with concealer and try to clean up the edges of my eyes okay now that I look super crazy by having tape on my eyes and I'm not the only makeup person on YouTube that does this, of course, you know, and I feel comfortable doing this on camera <laughs> because I watch a lot of videos and I still see a lot of beauty gurus do the whole tape thing. So I'm like, okay, it's still a thing. I'm not going to look too crazy. Yellow. That's all I got to say. Okay, enough about explaining why I put tape on my eyes. Now I'm going to go in with my Morphe M505 brush and it looks like this. 
and I am gonna go into the shade framed no actually I'm gonna go into the shade secret and that's that really dark one right here and I'm gonna start building that up in the crease area and upper lid And I just go back and forth, you know, really round it out on the edges. And when I use darker shades and then I'm going to build them up with other colors, I try not to go in too hard because I still want those other shades to be able to blend through this color I'm laying down now. And I'm just going to repeat the same step on this side. Woo! And what I really like about the tape method is I can go and then it still gives me that, that cut. And to me, it just looks really clean. It's not something I used to do all the time, but lately I really like um, the cut look it gives on the edges of my eyelids. So I've been doing it. And I'll do that with different like makeup techniques. I will just go back and forth with something that I like and then I'll try something new. You know, makeup is always changing and evolving and things that were popular, you know, in the 60s and 70s are coming back and, you know, with the 90s and et cetera and go on and on. Um, I just feel like even with fashion and makeup, it's constantly um, either just coming back, you know, through time or it's evolving and changing and there's just, you know, fresh, you know, just, it's all cool. You know, somebody can say, oh, you know, we're not doing that anymore. That's not trending. But I'm really not about, like, following the trends. Like, whatever works for me and I feel like it looks good on me and I'm comfortable with it, then I'm not going to change because it's not what everyone else is doing right now. Believe it or not, I'm just not that kind of girl. Okay, so I'm just going to switch this back and forth. And you can go up a little bit towards the brow bone because I am going to go back in with that other color and lighten it up. And that color was Rush. I'm going to take the same brush and just lightly get it coated. And I know it says lightly, but it's so pigmented I barely tapped and it just picked up. But I am just going to feather that back over a little bit so we can get rid of any harsh dark lines where we don't want them. I almost wasn't able to do this video. I was FaceTiming one of my best friends. His name is Isaiah. And he was like, oh, you know, like, show me your camera. And I was, like, playing around with some of the features. And I, like, super zoomed, like, in. Like, I couldn't even see myself. And it's touchscreen. And I was trying to, like, fix it and get back to the original button. And I was like, oh, my God, like, what did I do? And I felt, like, really panicky. Like, I was like, oh, my God, like, this camera's ruined. Like, you know, I'm not that tech savvy you know I'm gonna have to like google this or look up like YouTube on how to fix it like I don't know what to do so I was just like going in the settings and I came across a reset settings and I was like Oop, reset <laughs> so that's like exactly what I did so I'm so glad at least I found that button so I was able to create this today <laughs> for you guys so awesome Okay, so now that I have that blended out, I am going to move down to the lower lid. And I love glitter. So this shade here on camera is really calling my name. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. And... I'm going to spray my brush a little bit, and I'm going to be using my JH41, my little patter. I call it my little shimmer pally, shimmer pally, 
<laughs> Lord. My shimmer padding brush. And then, like I said, I'm going to go into that shade on camera. And I'm just going to dab into it some. <sighs> so pretty. And I'm going to put that all over my lower lid. And I'm going to start out from the corner. And I'm just going to pat and swipe. Oh man, that is so pretty. I love these warm tones, like especially this time of the year. It's November, it's cold, it's fall. We're moving into more holidays. I mean, honestly, I would wear these colors any time of the year, to be completely honest. But I feel like especially around this time of the year, it's more appropriate and like what about glitter doesn't scream a holiday and I am just going to repeat this step on the other eye I'm going to spray my brows again and I'm going to go into on camera and I'm just going to pat and swipe yesterday I was able to clean my little babies, meaning my makeup brushes, and um, of course I watch a YouTube video on what was the best solution to clean them with home stuff, and I literally used a teaspoon of distilled white vinegar, a teaspoon of Dawn dish soap, and a cup of warm water. And I turned my brushes upside down in a Pyrex glass measuring cup. And I let them sit for about 30 minutes. And then I shook them up, rinsed them out with lukewarm water, and they all snapped back. Literally, this brush is back white. Like, I have tons of white brushes, and they all came back white. And they were coated, like they were dark like this. And this is just a regular light hair brown brush. But they, all my white ones were starting to look really funky. So I was like, oh, I need to clean them. And that hack, like, seriously worked. And it did not leave my brushes, you know, funky looking or anything. Like, they're super soft. The hairs were shiny. Like, I was so shook about this. I was like, oh, my God. And I used to be one of the dummies that would spend all this money on, like, solutions and cleaners. And it's a waste. I literally went to the store and spent a dollar on vinegar, a dollar fifty on Dawn dish soap. And, I mean, hello, just regular top water. And I cleaned my brushes. And then I rinsed them out. I shaped them and laid them out for a few hours to dry. And they've just snapped back perfectly. Like, this was so brown and coated. Now it's all soft and shiny. And, oh, man. All my brushes are back to nude. Like, oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. And the same thing with my beauty blenders. I watched a hack by the same girl. I wish I knew her name offhand so I can share it with you guys. But, um, the actually, the video was a few years old. And she used Irish Spring hand soap warm water and she scrubbed her blender under the faucet while rubbing it on the soap bar and kept rinsing it out and repeating and it snapped it back like brand new like it like this looks dark now because i used it today but it was fully black like this even on the bottom from doing that and like irish spring is like a buck at any dollar store or dollar tree or whatever convenience store you have near you it's inexpensive so I'm like, thank you for these people that try out these hacks and share them because, like I said, I used to spend money on cleaning solutions and sprays and antibacteria, this, this, and that, and all this stuff does the same things, if so, even better. So, I just have to share that with you guys because I'm so happy that my brushes came out right and they smell fine and they look pretty and, you know, I've never really tried that hack before and I was a little nervous because we know brushes can be expensive and I have a mix between like higher end brushes and drugstore brushes and I mean, regardless of the end of the day, really a brush is a brush, mm, you know, but it's really your technique and practice. I mean, it all plays a part in it. And I was just really scared that my brushes were going to get ruined, but they didn't. So I'm really happy about that. Okay, so <laughs> back to the eyes. 
I am going to go in with this shade Bomb Ass. And I kind of want to play around with it a little bit. And I'm going to coat my little flathead buffer brush. And I think I'm going to try to lay some of that in the corner. Just to add a little, little pop of color right in the corner there. Almost like stabbed my eye out felt like and I'm gonna repeat that step by taking bomb ass and I'm gonna do that on this side as well and I'm just gonna lightly just really buff that into the side oh I love that and like I was thinking about adding this color in somehow like as soon as I started but I was like, no, I'll just leave it gold and brown and, you know, keep it moving. But I was like, no, I love color. I was like, how can I add this in somehow? And I'm not even going halfway in to the eyeshadow part. I'm just really staying to the side and just buffing that out, just really blending that in. Okay, so now I'm going to highlight my brow bone and I am going to be using my JH42 brush and I am going to go into shade, hmm, I think I'm going to use the lightest shade on the original Jaclyn Hill palette, this one right here. I have the OG one, so I do not have the one with all the shade names on the back and all that. I actually got this palette September of 2017 when it first came out. I got it as a birthday gift. Oh, wait, you know what? I take that back. Was it 2017? 2018. God, so much has happened the past year with, like, moving and stuff. I don't even... No, it was September of last year. Okay, I was like... What's going on? Okay. <laughs> so now I'm going to highlight my brow bone and I'm just going to lightly just swipe that end of the brow. And then once I've applied it where I want it to be, I'm going to blend it down a little bit. You can go all the way forward. You can go halfway. Really to each their own and what look you want. And then now I'm just going to repeat that step on this side. And blend it down a little bit. super dramatic as always <laughs> so now I'm going to remove the tape and what's really cool like I set my face with powder so when I take the tape off it doesn't um, take my foundation off with it as well see that line it gives I feel like it just really keeps the shadow in control and in place. Love tape. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of liner and we're gonna tie this look up. Okay. Sometimes I feel like I have to be completely quiet doing a wing so I know what style I want because I actually really don't want this to go all the way down. I kind of just want it to meet at the beginning of my lash and then just wisp out. I don't want it to go all the way into the tear duct of my eye. Okay, 
because I'm not going to put on falsies today. I really don't feel like dealing with all that. So I'm just going to do liner and I'm just going to put on mascara on my natural lashes. So I'm going to repeat that step on this side. Hopefully I can get it to match because they're never twins, just sisters. Remember that, even with my brows <laughs> or anything in that matter. Nothing's ever symmetrical. <laughs> okay, let's go in. All right, sorry for the long pause. I just want to make sure I really got that on, really got that on right, and I didn't want to overdo it or underdo it. And now I'm going to be using my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, and I'm just going to put a little coat on my lashes. So yeah, that was my little gold little pop of color fall eye moment if you guys enjoyed today's video please like and comment down below and while you already here you should just you know subscribe to my channel <laughs> Um, I really do appreciate the feedback I've been getting on these videos. Um, my friends have been texting me and telling me what they think I should do and should not do or what type of looks I should look into and stuff like that. And that's what I want. Even if it's negative or positive or constructive criticism, like I can take it. I'm an adult. So um, for the real ones, let me know what you think. Even for the strangers, thanks for stopping by. And if you have any advice or comments, let me know. This is all new to me and I just want to share what I like to do and that is playing with makeup so thanks for watching and I'm trying to find my blush brush I really want to like get into and I'm just going to put on some blush and that's going to be the color deep wine and that's the Maybelline fit um I really want to get into like drawing stuff like on my eyelids I really want to challenge my artistry and see what I can do. So pretty soon we might have a lot of epic fail looks coming. Because <laughs> I don't practice, you know, any of these looks before I do them. I just kind of do the base of my face. And then I start the camera and I get into everything else. Put on some blush. I feel like blush really puts color back into my face. I mean, who else feels that way? Can you let me know down below? Leave a comment. Let me know if you guys feel the same way. And I am gonna highlight the inner corner of my eyes because that is just my thing. And I'm gonna go into shade, oop, boom. And I'm just gonna stick that right there in the corner of my eye. And I am using my JH39 brush, and that is the inner corner highlight brush. Okay. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but it's there. <laughs> okay, and so now I am going to, let's see, for lips. Mm, I think I'm going to go bold. I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Melted Matte in the shade Lady Balls. 
and this is a bright red and yes I overdraw my lips not all of us can afford lip filler I wish no kind of kidding I kind of start with the outline on my lips and then I fill it in whoa this is like really bright I'm wishing I would have went in with like a pink but oh well it's okay but mm, I guess it works I don't know let me know what you guys think and then last but not least I'm going to highlight my cheekbones and I'm going to be going in with my Becca Rose Gold if I can find my brush. Ooh, that is so pretty. And I'm just using a big old fluffy eyeshadow brush. I do have a fan brush as well that I use sometimes, but I go back and forth. I feel like they both can applicate really well for highlighting. And then do a little bit of the nose. I'm like, go lightly, Ebony. Don't go too ham. <laughs> my cupid's bow and then we are going to set and I'm going to be using my NYX finishing matte spray oh I hope everyone's okay I'm starting to hear like fire trucks and ambulance and stuff okay well Oh, that needs to dry. <laughs> well, here goes today's look. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And like always, thanks for watching. You can follow me on my other social media platforms. Snapchat, Ebony Shuri 4. Twitter, The Ebony Shuri Show. Or you can just look me up by Ebony Shuri Griffin. And then Instagram, The Ebony Shuri Show 4. And then for my personal Instagram, you can just find me under Miss Ebony Shuri Griffin. Well, I hope you guys enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Until next time. Bye-bye.